Hi, now I want to introduce you to three more trigonometric functions. Suppose we have some angle theta, it could be angle x, it could be anything you like, but if I just said the angle was theta, then the first trig function here is secant theta. Then we've got cosecant theta and cotangent theta. Now before I explain to you what these functions are, you won't often see them written like this. You might see them abbreviated. Now for secant theta, you'll most probably see what we call sec theta. Okay? And cosecant theta, we often write as cosec, cosec theta. And for cotangent theta, you'll see cot theta. All right. Now, what are each of these functions? Well, they're often called reciprocal functions because when we have a reciprocal, it means one divided by something. And in this case, when it's sec theta or secant theta, you're doing the reciprocal of cos theta. In other words, what we have is one divided by cos theta. And cosec theta is identical to 1 divided by sine theta. I always think that cosec should appear to be 1 over cos theta, but it's not a mistake. So make sure you learn these ones, okay, which way around they go. Well, this leaves cot theta, and I'm sure you've guessed what that one is. It is the reciprocal of tan theta, so it is 1 divided by the tan of theta. Now, if you were to try and work out some of these functions for a particular angle, like for instance the sec of, say, 60 degrees, well, you won't find the sec of 60 degrees on your calculator. You haven't got a button that has sec on it, just sine, cos, and tan. So obviously what you're going to need to do is to rewrite the sec function as 1 divided by cosine and in this case it's 60 degrees so that would be 1 divided by the cosine of 60 degrees. And we know that the cosine of 60 degrees is 0 0.5 or a half and when you do 1 divided by a half you get 2. So you could easily use your calculator to work out sec, cosec and cot of any angle. Now in later tutorials what I'll do is show you how we can use these functions in trig identities and I'll also show you the graphs of these. So I hope you'll have a look at those. Well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.